Hey everybody, Ryan Huggins here. And today I wanted to bring you a great video on how to get tips and tricks and hacks on getting your videos ranked on YouTube. All right, everybody. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about getting our videos ranked on YouTube with this little trick, tip, hack, uh, whatever you want to call it. But it's really uh, a simple software that you use and it is free. I'm currently using the free version. You can upgrade if you want to. But so far I haven't uh, needed to do that. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it, how I use it. Uh, so the first things first, since this does take a little bit, I'm going to create a new video. I'm going to upload a file here so this can be running in the background. It's a quick little three minute video here. And that's going to upload. We'll hit next. Let me move this. There we go. Next, next. And we will hit, uh, let's just go with private for now. And we'll hit save. All right. So that will... Go ahead and upload and close that. That's going to upload in the background for us. All right. So with that, what I wanted to show you also is how it works in a search term and how I actually use it to enable my rankings to grow. My channel has been around for a long time, but in reality, I never used it for anything until just about a week ago. So um, my dream was always to have a YouTube channel where I could teach people things. And I finally got involved with a company that basically, uh, in order to win a level, forced me to make a YouTube video, and now I'm feeling much more comfortable. So anyway, check this out. So let's talk about how to get leads, right? Because when you're in business, you definitely want leads. So we're going to search this how to get leads. Oh, never mind. Sorry, that's for that. Let's go to YouTube regular. That was the, the studio, right? The YouTube studio. We're going to go to how to get leads. All right. We're going to search this. And then what's going to happen is this right here is going to pop up for us. And this is called Video IQ or Vid IQ for short. You can see right here, this is their website. This is, uh, this is actually, um, I'm logged in right now, my art channel. I do art as well. Uh, Real Loud Art. You can check that out. But anyway, um, when you go in and you log in, you get a free account, what will happen is you'll be able to find your videos in the search terms. And what I like to do is go and find one that has a lot of views. This one only has 6,000, 6,000, uh, 4,000, so 21,000 views. And it was uploaded six months ago. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just click on this. And we're not really using the video. We're actually going to be using what's on the side of the video. So this person here is talking right now, but we're not listening to that. We're actually focusing on the statistics over here on the right hand side. And we're going to be able to use this, right? So what Video IQ does is it tells you the SEO score. It also tells you a couple of other little tips and tricks that you'll be able to click on and utilize. But the one that I like the most is right here, the video optimization checklist, titles, tags, description. This person has done it all except for share it on Twitter. And you'll be able to make sure that you get all of those check marks when you're using this system, which is free. And you're also going to download the Chrome extension. If you're not currently using Google Chrome browser, you will need to use Google Chrome browser for this extension, which will pull this up on all the videos as you can see here. All right. Now, what I like down here is my favorite part, because a lot of times for me, um, I like to use quick and easy systems. I don't like to type a lot or write a lot. I don't mind talking. It's one of my favorite things to do. But what I, what's really cool about this is I can actually go here where it says video tags and I simply click on this right here. It looks like the chain and you click it and it actually will copy all of these tags that they are using currently for these lead generation. Now what's cool you'll see here is Alex Berman lead generation. He is ranking number one. This actually shows you where your tag will rank you on on YouTube. So obviously this guy does really well. I've never even seen this guy before, but he does fantastic all of his stats. So what's cool is I'm going to borrow all of these. 
Obviously the ones with his names in there I'm gonna take out, but we're gonna go back over here to YouTube Studio and we're gonna go back to the videos because remember I just downloaded one. All right. File is a duplicate, so I've already done that, so we'll just delete that. But anyway, I'll just show you on one of my existing videos. So if I click here on this video, which is a free keyword tool, which is the video that I talked about yesterday, which I will link down on the bottom, and that one discusses Uber Suggest on how to find titles, which for example, how to generate leads, which is uh, one of the ones that I use for there. So anyway, this is my video. This is my video. This is the stuff that I've posted in my description, which I could do a much better job. Uh, just kind of copied and pasted some stuff in there. But going down here, you'll notice my uh, video SEO score is a 63 out of 100, which is not bad. Oh, shoot, my checklist, five of nine. So I need to check out what I've got here. At least one card, I've done that. At least one end screen, I've done that. Oh, I need to do closed captions. Monetization, I am not uh, enabled yet. In fact, hey, if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber of mine, click the subscribe button. And then also, please click the bell and click all. That way you can see all of the videos that I post out there. Help me climb my channel. At the exact moment I'm recording this, I have 137 viewers, subscribers on my channel. Thank you guys so very much for everyone out there. I really truly do believe, uh, appreciate it. So anyway, uh, you have to get to a thousand subscribers to monetize, so I can't do that yet. Add it to a playlist. I can do that because I know how to do that. Make public, I've done, and share on Twitter. Share on Facebook, get a like, reply to a recent comment. So those things are check marks that you'll need to make sure you knock off to help your video rank higher, which is obviously the most important part. Now, what's also really cool here is in the actual uh, section here, which is your tags section, you can actually delete all of those. I'm not going to do that. But simply what you would do is click here and then you would paste in the ones that we copied from over here. Remember, we simply clicked down here on this button right here and that allowed me to actually copy those. So to kind of show you how that works, let's go to my notes pad here. We'll go ahead and open a new note and we'll paste that there. Boom, those are all the tags that he was using and now I can use those tags. And what would happen on my video if I just pasted that in, all of those tags would pop up, okay? So it makes it very easy for you to place tags in your videos. You might be using one or two because if you're like me when I first started on YouTube, I didn't want to type. Not only that, I didn't know what to type, right? So um, if how to generate leads, I didn't know what keywords to type in my tags or um, you know how to use a sales funnel. I didn't know what tags to use in those videos, but now I do because you can just use vidIQ, go copy and paste. Another thing that I really like here is on this section at the bottom, after you've plugged in yours, they're also gonna throw you some extras, right? So sales vision review, I don't have, I do have it right there, but if I didn't have it, you can simply push the plus sign and it puts it in there for you. And then if I hit the plus sign, it puts it in there for you. As you can see there, if I hit the plus sign, that puts it in there for you. So they give you three simple and easy use to plug in there. So sales vision, sales vision review. Um, since that one's got that capital letter in there, I'm actually gonna whoop, remove that one and then I can keep that one there. Sales vision scam. I'll go ahead and remove that one just because I need the space. And uh, free keyword planner, we'll remove that one. Now I'm under 500 and now I'm ready to rock and roll. Then all I would do is cl cl uh, simply click save. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save that. And now all my tags are saved and I got all of those tags for free and easy by being able to just click and paste off of somebody else's video, no matter what context you're searching. So for example, I just recently made a video on rain. I could do a rain video. Because, you know, people like to go to sleep, listen to rain, whatever. I can go here. I can click on this one right here. 10 hours of rain. Holy moly, right? This presents 88 million views. So they must have done something right. So I go into their video after the ad plays here. And we will skip the ad. Now it's on the video. 
You can see their overview score, 100 out of 100. Going down here, 95 out of 100 for their SEO. All of that stuff is fire, right? Really, really good. Here's the information on their actual post. They've done almost all of it. But my favorite part right here is this part. So they're ranking number one for rain sounds, sounds of rain, rain sound, the sound of rain. And each one, when you add an extra letter, a capital, a space, all of that matters when it comes to ranking on YouTube. So if I wanted to take all of these here, I would simply click that and then I would paste that into my rain video, for example. So if I went back to my videos on my channel and my rain sound video right here. So this one I made rain for sleep. That's just rain. And then this one relaxing rain where I actually laid uh, audio sound behind it. But anyway, I can go in here, edit this and I would simply be able to go down to tags and I would be able to paste in the tags from his channel. In fact, I did do that. So if you'll notice some of these tags here are the same tags that are being used over here. So that is how you use. Here, actually here, I'll just show you what it actually does. So we're going to, we're going to actually delete all of these that are on there right now. I don't even remember what they were in there and we're going to paste these because if he's ranking number one, he must be doing something right. We're going to use his uh, actual post 500 out of 500. We're going to go ahead and save that. And boom, now those keywords are plugged in there. This checklist, I do need to do some more stuff. So let's add a card and let's add an end screen. All right, so we go up to my video. We're going to go to end screen here. And to add an end screen, all you got to do is pick one. And we're going to pick this one. This is my favorite one. One video, one subscribe. So it tells your uh, people to subscribe to your channel, people that are watching. And then also a video, it'll put in the best video for viewer from your channel. We're going to go ahead and save that. All right, end screen's done. Now to select a card, we're going to go into the card section here. And we're going to get add card and we're going to do video or playlist. Now, what we'll do is we'll put them on something that would be interesting to them, right? So if they were listening to uh, sounds in sleep, let's go ahead and plug them into some affirmations, right? So maybe they like affirmations as well. So we'll put that there. Now my card is ready. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually place the card and we're going to place the card right here. You have to go to the time and you click on it and that'll place the card and that's it. All changes saved. Once you've done that, you simply click exit out of that one and boom, this thing is ready to rock and roll. So now, as you can see, it hasn't updated this yet because I haven't saved the whole thing. So we'll go in here. I'll delete that comma, click save. And then this will take a few minutes to update after it processes my end screen and my card. My checklist will go up by two to six of nine. Okay, so here we go, six of nine. And obviously some of these aren't gonna be able to be done anyway, so I'll share to Twitter and we'll get to seven of nine. And there you go. So that is how to use vidIQ, just the basics part as well. I'm not even going into full detail. I haven't even tried anything, so I'm just literally using this for tags right now to help rank my videos. I'm gonna have to go in here and explore. Um, if you have used video IQ in the past, Make sure you leave a comment below and let me know how you utilize this. Um, also, if you are not a fan of this channel yet, please subscribe and hit the bell like we talked about earlier. And then also, if you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, feel free to uh, throw those in the comments section. Make sure you smash that thumbs up. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And then also, if you're wondering how I'm recording my screen while being on the computer, I am currently using Screencast-O-Matic. Go ahead and get that. There is a free version of that as well, Screencast-O-Matic, and that will allow you to record videos. Again, everybody, thank you so very much for your time. I really do appreciate every minute and second you watch my videos. Have a wonderful night.